Oh, oh look! Still got mascot. Okay, so we're in the, uh, look. The new German engineering. Anyhow, uh, we're uh, going right now to the Ministry, Ministry of Transportation. Um, what I got to do today is get uh, VIN number and ownership and license plate for the utility trailer. Remember when we built that one? So uh, I kind of need it now that I have a car that will actually tow it. So perfect. Got a lot of uh, scrap at the shop that needs to go in and a whole bunch of stuff that needs to go to the dump and different things. And I have to shift with my left hand right now, so that's kind of tricky. But uh, yeah, good time. And uh, after we go to the ministry, though, I have to go to my work and get a, one of the tow trucks because I'm going to take my uh, the other, the old German engineering, we got to get it out to the shop because it's not plated anymore because I needed the plates for this car. And uh, then after that, then I got to take the tow truck back to my worky, and then we're going to go to the shop and we're going to work on the trailer today. So uh, I'll uh, have the camera with me like the whole time. Okay. Oh, good news, we got license plate for trailer. You know, every time I hear this song, I think of the Devil's Rejects. Awesome movie. Okay, so we're uh, in the German engineering, my new one. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, the, the clock's not right, I haven't even said that yet. But anyways, that's what we got for mileage. And uh, right now we're just driving to the shop, where I can do a... Uh, a little bit more of a uh, more better video and uh, you know things like that and that uh, that vent right there she's all uh, she's all frigged up so I gotta get uh, like my little pocket screwdriver in there and fix that but uh, other than that it's pretty awesome it's got uh, cassette and CD which is cool because I have that uh, plugged into my mobile device there with lots and lots of music on it and uh, it's manual which is my favorite and I got the license plate for the uh, utility trailer finally because they finally got around to doing that. And uh, yeah, it feels uh, really nice driving this car. It's uh, really awesome. It's got an awesome sound system in it for factory. Um, it's fully loaded. Really quiet in here, as you can tell. Like, the sound is just very crisp. So, uh, yeah, heated seats and stuff like that. It's pretty awesome. Uh, my understanding is they're uh, actually factory Recaro seats. Uh, that was one of the um, options, I guess, for the uh, TDI Sport, so that's pretty cool. Anywho, uh, more on that later. carpet ripped out of the trailer all that shitty old moldy carpet now obviously I've got a few issues there's a big one floor is uh, a little soggy here and it has a little bit of a dip in it right where my foot was as well as uh, right here and what that's from is a leaky window the problem is this wood never dries out it's just shitty press board anyways and it never dries out because it's stuck under all that shitty carpet so not a real big deal this panel's still okay it just needs to dry out it's not really uh, too bad so we'll let it dry out this one uh, goes from this line here to this line here and uh, somebody's already repaired in front of the door here before as you can see I just ripped this shitty old like fence board or something out and it's kind of fucked in the corner there too, so I can uh, fix that. So uh, what I'm going to do is just pull up this one board. It's got a dip in it here too. So just pull up this one piece and uh, replace that. And then with what I cut out, I can uh, fix that piece too. So that'll work out fine. Uh, the rest of the kitchen's pretty good. No real, uh, real problems here. You can see where the floor was wet at one time, but it's dry and it's still pretty flat and level. And there's still... Uh, Get some white here. Still a little bit of carpet in the hallway here just before the bathroom now. Uh, I'm going to cut that out, but uh, it's not really, uh, I'm not worried about it right now because I know that the floor is in fine shape under that. 
So the biggest thing now is I just got to go down to Home Depot and get a uh, three-quarter inch uh, piece of press board and replace this section of the floor and also, like that would also fix that part there which is no good and like I said that part can just dry out it'll be okay <clears throat> then I've got this uh, nice uh, what do you call it click laminate flooring to go uh, to go on cool got some there and there's a bunch more stored under this bed here so that's uh, pretty much this weekend's big project. I'm not too sure how far I'm going to get right uh, today or whatever else. But uh, obviously we've got power. Look, I even got a little bit of light for uh, my shop still too. So, yeah. Obviously uh, we've got power. Right? Good to have. We obviously got the tunes going. Okay, so since last uh, update about an hour or so ago, a couple uh, changes. Uh, well, anyways, I gotta get a second pair of hands to help me lift this generator out of here because it's a heavy one. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I got these uh, things that uh, have some foreign writing on them. And they're kind of like dehumidifiers, kind of. So uh, I got one over there and there's one here. So I guess we'll see if they work. Anyways, um, the uh, cabinet that was here beside the stove is uh, history. So it's kind of over there now. <clears throat> Underneath it, uh, it was sunken and wet. So no big deal. That's uh, part of the... Uh, board that's being replaced from that line uh, to this line right there so that's cool that'll take care of that issue and that issue all the rest of it's in pretty good shape still uh, kitchen to you know kitchen floor is perfect no problem and I still gotta cut up the carpet in here but I don't know uh, at what stage I'm gonna do that yet because uh, this cabinet here um, is being ripped out and uh, so basically like that down to the floor and from here down to the floor and then that'll be gone this spare bed holding my hardwood floor is uh, gonna be all ripped out haven't decided if I'm gonna pull out this top bunk yet or not um, probably because this is going to be my office area anyhow moving along we got the dirty floored bathroom here. That's thanks to my shoes. I don't really care right now because uh, obviously of the Renaults. Um, I gotta find a decent, uh, kind of medium sized, uh, decently priced pedestal sink. And then this is all being ripped out because you don't have a lot of leg room here for the toilet. And uh, yeah, I was standing in the tub with my shoes on, just kind of getting an idea of how much my head hits the roof there. Now this tub floor is about here which uh, only makes it about here so there's still about eight inches to go so uh, that's all going to be ripped out and uh, these walls are going to be taken down and replaced with cement board and done properly and uh, I'll see if I can get one of those like plastic uh, build-it-yourself kind of showers um, still keep it the same size just to get rid of this tub and it'll just have like a little knee wall or something down here with a shower curtain running along there so yeah that'll be cool simple simple and uh, the bedroom hasn't really changed at all uh, since I've owned the trailer the nice white carpet is absolutely disgustingly filthy again mainly from my shoes here oh well and uh, actually the majority of it was the police search at the farm Look, there's a fucking boot print on my bed when they were searching those cabinets up there. So, uh, yeah. Anyways. Look, nothing in them. How shocking. Oh, <gasps> nope, still nothing. Anywho, this uh, nightstand here, 
which is fastened uh, 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 to the trailer. That's uh, being ripped out. I've never used it, so I'll rip it out. Because um, this bed is queen wide, but not quite queen long. Needs about another 10 to 12 inches, so that'll still leave me that much room between the bed and the wall, and this amount of room with all the plastic water bottles and uh, one liquor bottle that I passed out with one time. Uh, all that will be the same, so lovely, and uh, yeah. So there's your grand tour of the updates. And here we are, back in the uh, kitchen living room area. Cool. Oh, one more thing. Remember there used to be a cabinet on top of the fridge? Oh, why well, I, uh, I removed the door and everything off of that. And the microwave, not this one, this was just to get the size uh, idea, but uh, my microwave uh, is pretty much the same size as this one, so this is good. Um, this microwave would be good if it uh, still had the turntable glass. It doesn't, so not really uh, too efficient. So uh, there's no plug back there. So what I'm thinking of doing for that is just to like drill a hole in the corner there, and then in that cabinet it's pretty dark, but uh, drill a hole in there to there, and then over here drill a hole from there to like there. And then it'll run through this cupboard, which has like this uh, giant light in it. That was Brad's light, actually. I thought he was uh, gonna grab that one day, but he never did. Uh, so yeah, drill a hole from there. And of course, just fasten the wire all the way along these cabinets. And drill a hole here, and just kinda drop it down and use that outlet. That's the outlet I was using for the microwave before anyway. Cool. Anyways guys, I think I'm going to call her a day. I need to uh, get that uh, shitty old press board uh, sheet uh, from Home Depot's and uh, get that installed and uh, then uh, kind of rip this shit out here so I can lay down the uh, hardwood floor. But uh, that's all good and fine and dandy, but I think I'm probably going to call it a day now. So uh, yeah. Cheers. Okay, so uh, I was actually just about to leave, but then I thought uh, I better check out my next plan. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I pulled uh, this bottom board up there, and guess what? The friggin' wheel well's in there. Uh, I didn't even uh, really notice that this trailer had a wheel well. Um, from the outside, it doesn't look like it really does, but apparently it does. And uh, where my future office was going to be, here's another issue. We've got uh, plumbing drainage from the kitchen running through here and hot and cold water that's the rest of my flooring by the way look you can see it and uh, there's another wheel well under there now guess what this part really sucks I found this board between the mattresses on uh, that bed there so yeah cool maybe they'll help but uh, the reason why this friggin tub is so high off the, the ground well the wheel well actually comes to about here about six inches in oh man I think my shower plan might have just taken a shit too. Ball sack. Now, uh, where the frig did my light go here? And uh, it's not a very good one, but but uh, yeah, there's uh, there's the wheel well, and there's the tub. You can see that really, really sucks. Jay's uh, Jay's not overly happy about that. So, uh. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Gonna have to, gonna have to finger something out. Oh, crap! Good news is when I lifted this bed up, I found a lighter. Kind of wedged in there. There it goes. Cool. Oh. All right. Well, now I gotta come up with like plan L. So. uh yeah, we'll uh, chat with you later. Okay, well, it just occurred to me I didn't show off my new ride yet, so uh, here it is. We've got uh, the lovely seats, which uh, are Recaro, I'm told, from factory, so that's pretty cool. They're definitely as comfortable as them. 
Oh, ding, ding, ding. Doors open, no seat belts on. What's going on here? So, uh, yeah, I like the five speed, like I mentioned earlier, and I love it. Um, like power everything and fully loaded. It's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah. Lots and lots of trunk space. I'll uh, show you the motor quick in the back end. Quiet stock exhaust. You can barely hear it. Trailer hitch, that's my uh, one favorite part. Nice. Now I can uh, start towing my uh, utility trailer that I built uh, back when. Oh. Runs a lot quieter than uh, than uh, little Hitler. I don't have to dick with a prop rod. Cool. A little dirty, needs a needs a wash, but we'll wait till the spring to do that because uh, it'll all freeze. Nice, eh? Sweet. But of course, you got to have your mascot. So uh, here's a uh, little Hitler, not doing so well, definitely seen better days, I mean the rot has just gotten really really bad, um, yeah, this trucker at work uh, ran it over with his truck, so that sucked a whole lot of ass, and he bent the tie rod when he did it, and then this side's even worse. Except for no damage on this side. Just lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of rust. No rocker panels left in the car, so. Oh well. And uh, the exhaust is kind of uh, full of snow from when I uh, unloaded it off the flatbed earlier today. This had a hitch too, but it's so rotten, you can literally bend it with your foot. Not good. Not good. That's why I can't tow my trailer. But now I got my new one and I got the license plate and ownership for the trailer now. So we're all legal. And I can tow the tow the shit out of stuff. It's gonna be awesome. Maybe uh maybe I'll slap some paint on it though. It's pretty ugly. So uh here's the uh little interior of little uh, little Hitler. So yeah. It's a fucking mess too. But uh I don't think I'll let the new one be a mess. Beautiful day. All you can hear is the snowmobiles out. Too quiet. 